Most machines I bought had issues with the bobbin winder. It was too tight and the wheel did not turn properly. Or the unit did not lock into place. These two screws can solve most issues. There are multiple types of bobbin winders. In this video I will show you the two most common winders. When the pressure is too much or insufficient, you might want to do this. Press the unit down until the latch drops and holds it. Then loosen the screw. Press the winder so the rubber wheel makes contact with the latch of the balance wheel and then tighten the screw. When dealing with a classic winder with a cam, use this method. Push the unit away from you until it locks into place. Then loosen this upper screw. Press down the unit and retighten it. And that's it. Sometimes the right friction comes down to trial and error, but you'll get it right. The unit might be dry. That can be why it doesn't move as you want it to do. Don't forget the bobbin winder should be oiled too. There is at least one oil hole on the direct contact version. And there are two holes on the version with the cam. The manual says you need to oil the cam too. The earlier models have a leather winding wheel or tire. The disadvantage? It will disintegrate when it gets older. Most vintage Singer sewing machines have a rubber wheel, but that gets old too. But you can replace it very easily. A new tire will cost you next to nothing. Search online for a Singer winding wheel or tire. It is one or two dollars. Replacing the brittle old tire. Push out the old tire. If you are lucky, there is enough room to change it. If not, with some models you can remove the entire unit with one screw, like with this Singer 15. If you want to, you can disassemble the flywheel or balance wheel in order to replace the tire. Try to wind the bobbin evenly. If you have a direct contact element like this one and it doesn't wind evenly, move the part with the disc a little more to your left or right by unscrewing it. Goal is to have it directly underneath the bobbin. Well I think I've covered a lot. Did you miss anything? Please let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.